So next up is the Echinacea. I've got a very small little Echinacea here. It's the only one I can find this morning and it's a little bit past it, but nonetheless we can see the major features that we want to. This one is Echinacea purpurea. There are two used in herbal medicine. Um, uh, Angustifolia is technically the stronger of the two. Uh, but purpurea is much easier to grow, particularly in this part of the world. So tend to, tends to be that herbalists in this part of the world will use purpurea um, and find it very effective indeed. Um, it's called a purple cone flower, its common name. And you can see that actually those, the, the way that the petals slope down like that is not just to do with the fact that the flower is nearly over. That's how the flowers generally present themselves. Once the petals are open, they sort of flop down in that sort of making the whole plant into like a cone shape. Uh, as we've discussed before, this is a good lymphatic cleanser, lymphatic alterative and immune booster or immunomodulator. Um, much used by people for, you know, colds and the flu and that sort of thing. Um, I have a little bit to say about that further on. It's, a, it's an effective treatment, but interestingly it doesn't always work. And I think the reason for that is that sometimes you actually need to get the, the flu or, or get a cold. And what, what, will, what the echinacea will do then is actually to pet, potentiate your body's ability to resist the virus. So in other words, sometimes when you get a, a, a slight fever, that's evidence that the body is working on your behalf uh, to kill the pathogen. Um, so echinacea can do that for us as well. It can actually you know, help us to have more of a cold if necessary so that we can get through it faster and, and with a more um, complete uh, clearance, if you like, uh, or result. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future content. To learn more about CNM or its courses, head to www.naturopathy-uk.com.